visit astlessons.com for lyrics and chords, sheet music, tablatures, useful links, and much more. Hi, this is Robert from AST Lessons. Today I'm going to show you how to play You Don't Know with Milo. The key is C sharp minor with the capo on the fourth fret and A minor without, and the average tempo is about 88 to 89 BPM. Since there is two guitars playing on the album, I will blend it with live versions to make it possible to play alone. So let's start, but don't forget to check the timestamps in the description and the free papers on the websites. So let's begin with looking at the chords. First is A minor. Next is F major 7 with the C bass note. After that we have a G. He plays it like this. But you can also play it like this. Then we have a C. And the last chord is E. As you can see, you shouldn't hit the E string on A minor, F major 7 slash C and C. For this, you have two options. First is to muffle it by folding your thumb over it, like this, which allows it to strum all the way across the strings. Don't press too hard, but not too soft either. And the second way is just to avoid hitting it. And now to the strumming, the main pattern, which he plays pretty much throughout the whole song, sounds like this. And slowly. So it's basically like this. But with adding the muting and the second and third down strum, in other words the off beats or the ends. The way I do the muting is to put the side of my hand over the strings at the same time I'm doing the down strum. If you have a hard time with this, my tip is to practice the muting separately. For example, alternating like this. The placement, by the way, should be somewhere between the sound hole and the bridge. If you need even more help with this muting slash percussive strumming technique, I will temporarily put the link in the description to the best in-depth tutorial I can find until I start doing those kind of lessons myself. So the intro, verses and interlude is played the same way. The choruses and outro is also played the same way and with the same chords, only sometimes in a different order. For this reason, I will only demonstrate the first verse and first chorus, but you can of course find a full song on the LC paper on the websites. Most of the time you play one round of the pattern on each chord, 
but there are a few exceptions which I have cleared up on the LC Plus paper. On that, I have written a 2 after the chords, where you play 2 rounds of the pattern. And then, I have also underlined the E in chorus 1, where you strum the chord once and let it ring. One thing you can do before you start the intro is to play the short pre-intro that he does on the album version. On this part, you muffle the strings, which I prefer to do like this. And the pattern looks like this. If you can, also try to accentuate the off beats like I did, which is these drums. The tricky part is to be ready to start the A minor right after. So when I play myself, I always use the last up strum to release the hand and take the chord like this. And there is also another addition you can do that he does when playing live, which is to do a hammer on on some of the C and F major 7 slash C chords. It's always done on the first down strum and with the middle finger. On the C, it looks like this. And on the F major 7 slash C, like this. One small thing to note is in the third chorus, when playing this A minor and G, here he breaks the pattern on the first up strum, like this. I have also underlined this on the LC Plus paper, in case you need a reminder. And finally, I just want to let you know that there are a few places with some minor variations in the strumming. If anyone really wants to know where it is and what differs, just post a comment below and then I can write it down for you later. So that was an example of how the stick can sound like. In this part, he alternates between these two patterns. Number one, fasts. And slowly. Number two, fasts. And slowly. So it's simply a three chord sequence play two times. On the first two chords you play one round of patterns and on the C you play two. Alright, so first of all, the F major 7 with the C bass note can be replaced with the regular F major 7. And secondly, you can stick to one strumming pattern, and if you think the main pattern is too hard, 
then just skip the mute thing so it sounds like this instead. And also, you can forget about the string skipping on the top strings. Since those notes is already in the chords, it will sound okay. And last thing is to lower the tempo, which will make the chord switching easier.